This one from Rhiannon Adorneto. I hope I got that right. Why did God bless polygamous Old Testament husbands and help their kingship battles? Confusing and seemingly unfair for we women, considering that the New Testament requires us to be all modest. <laughs> Sorry. No cop-out stuff about God bless them despite their sin either. Real answers. Was Leviticus 17, 17 not clear? It was clear, but wait a second. Why, why not God bless them despite their sin? Why? why? Would that be a bad answer? Uh, maybe you're like me and you're probably thinking, not even close. You have a tendency to read the Old Testament and go, wow, those people were so wicked. Why were, they were just so dumb. And I've often thought that, and I think that's just wrong because I fear that if my life were written like an Old Testament Bible character, I would climb underneath this carpet and would never want to be seen again. Uh, Rian, and what would happen if your life were written like she confessed to believe in Jesus Christ, but she, fill in the blank. She, I'm just making stuff up now, gossiped regularly. Or she was a bitter uh, toward her husband a lot. I'm making stuff up. Or, or she yelled at her kids a lot. People would read that in a couple thousand years and go, wow, do you think she was really a believer? You see, God is kind even to those who are in Christ despite us. In the Old Testament, you're right, they shouldn't have been polygamous. They should, it was clear in Deuteronomy 17. They sinned, and yet God, in his forbearance, he overlooked their sins, just like he so often overlooks ours. And so I would encourage you, rather than looking at that and going, hey, what's the deal? Why was God so kind to them? Instead, ask, why is God so unbelievably kind to me?